Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophynet, the babbling Belgian, and welcome to Gold of War. The Gold of War series has always been uh, a special one for me personally, since I've uh, I've played pretty much every game in the series uh, so far. So I know a lot about Kratos, and it's one of the first series in my uh, youth that I um, started to play more on a harder difficulty setting. So it was uh, always a, a series a series about challenge for me, aside from, of course, the rage-filled story and character Kratos himself. Look at him. He's grown a, uh, a very, very nice beard. Um, I do know a bit about the game before we're heading in. You know, it's uh, set in Norse mythology this time around, and that uh, Kratos has turned his life around a bit. Um, to give a bit more perspective on the story, just really, really quickly, in the original God of War trilogy, uh, Kratos was um, very angry with the gods because they kind of tricked him, well, Ares, specifically the God of War, tricked him into killing his wife and child while under uh, Ares' service, and um, that caused him to start going to the other gods for help, and when they betrayed him in turn, he turned on all of them. And by the end of the, the original trilogy, we as the player and as Kratos have killed the entire pantheon of Greek mythology. And um, yeah, the world wasn't too good in, a, in any good shape after that. Uh, I have no idea what happened after that. But at the end of God of War 3, Kratos kind of commits suicide. But there was an, an after credit scene where he appeared to have slipped away even though he was uh, impaled by a very large sword of which you can see the scar on his uh, belly right there as well so he clearly survived but uh, yeah I'll let the game speak for itself uh, before we start I'd like to uh, know if you're new to the channel how did you find my channel because I'm really really um, really interested in how you did uh, and otherwise just uh, enjoy the ride I usually play as thorough as I can if you've seen any other of my series, you know that. Um, but otherwise, we're gonna head straight in. So, new game. And then, of course, I'm gonna go with Give Me a Challenge. Uh, I'm not gonna go to Give Me God of War again. I've done that in a few of the games, and that's really, really uh, difficult. And I've seen a few of the, uh, a bit of footage of this game, and I'm gonna start at Give Me a Challenge. So, uh, a more demanding combat experience sounds about just right. And we're heading straight in, it seems. Okay, a nice handprint. Look at the graphics at this of this game. We're playing on a PS4 Pro, by the way, um, because of course, God of War is a PlayStation exclusive still. Hmm, haven't seen Kratos uh, so attached to a tree before. Okay, the Leviathan Axe. So yeah, Kratos has a new weapon. Before it was the uh, the, uh, the the dual wielding blades with the change atta chains attached. So the blades of Athena, I think they were called at the original start. But let's start swinging. Oh wow, it does pack a punch. Let's try that again. Hmm, I wonder if the handprint has any significance there. And ah, no, let's do that again. It kind of felt similar to uh, beating Zeus to a pulp in God of, at the end of God of War 3. But yeah, Kratos hasn't lost his strength clearly, because that was like five swings before that tree went down. I would like to see you try that. So that's where the chains of his uh, previous weapons were attached before. So probably old wounds. If you're not familiar with God of War, the pattern on his body was uh, created at the time of... Um, well, after, right after he killed his wife and child. Awesome. Oh, and there we have Atreus! So the, the white on his body the are boy. the uh, ashes of his dead wife and child. But it appears that right now, Kratos has a, a new son. Whoa. 
Okay, wow. Remember what I said about his strength? That was um, interesting. Oh, the branches is falling off. Oh, well, we're heading straight in. Okay, I'm in control right now. Just gonna flip the camera for a second. There we go. Still want me to tie it to the boat? Stop. Tie what to the boat? We're gonna tie the entire tree to the boat? That sounds... I don't think that's gonna be... Yeah, okay. I'm just thinking that if he's gonna put that tree right on top of the boat, that's not gonna end well. But that seems like a better idea. That is enough. I love what they did with his voice, by the way. It's very heavy. There we go. Okay. Father? What? Did something change? The forest feels different. Everything is different, boy. Christopher Judge. Yes, sir. So Atreus, yeah, that's the first indication that Atreus indeed is called Kratos' father. So it, it is, he is his son. But Christopher Judge, that must be the voice of Kratos then right now. Was he the original voice actor? I don't think he was. Could be mistaken, but... I must say, with these first few minutes, I'm... Uh, I'm almost forgetting that I'm playing a game at the moment. And there goes the tree again. There we go. Oh, I'm kind of disappointed. No ant swarms on the trees like in Horizon Zero Dawn, like the first scenes of uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Wow, it kind of looks skyrim -y. Which kind of fits, of course, with Norse mythology. But the look of the world really has something, uh, something of a Skyrim vibe right now. Okay. Just following Atreus right now. I need to... Okay, nope. I think the game... Yeah, the game took over. There's more of those yellow handprints that over there. Last. Okay. Oh. Well, that explains a lot. So that handprint on the... on the tree must have been of... I'm assuming Atreus' mother and Kratos' new wife. There do I see my mother. There we go. Hello there, do I see my father? Hello there, do they call to me? Hello there, do they call to me? I must say that's a... Pretty powerful scene to start with. Oh, there do they call to me. Oh, there do they call to me. Oh, there do they call to me. Oh, I did see a bit of tears on his face, and wow, the music is kicking in. Yeah, there we go. Was wondering whether he She's would. React to the fact that his mother is dead. I must say, even Kratos looks a lot. Find your way home. More well, a lot more different because you are free. He really respects her, which I. I've never really seen in this character before. Oh, 
that was, yeah, okay. I missed that when we entered this uh, area that there was a funeral pyre over there. I wonder what happened, because I'm assuming that Kratos is still kind of immortal. Aww. I'm sorry. That's okay, boy. Squeeze. Oh, that's definitely a side of Kratos we'd never seen this before. Knife. It was hers. Now it is yours. So he clearly met someone new and started a life she with her. But she somehow she knew. died. Shall we? Now? Now. Hmm. She taught you to hunt. Not Kratos. Now I'm really curious about what happened. Okay, bow and arrow seems what are we fitting. Hunting? You are hunting deer. Which way? In the direction of deer. Okay then, okay. Kratos. Uh this way real falling material at the moment so he seemed to care when Atreus burned his hand but for the most part he's pretty distant okay there we go Father, okay why are we doing this now I need to know you can survive the journey then we leave for the mountain depends on you hunt okay do what did you find tracks not deer though I'll keep looking Okay, looking around, fine. I wonder, because there are like areas over there. Oh, what's this? Something's glowing. Explore the world to find valuable resources. Hack silver. Okay, I'm exploring. Boy, you miss these. Oh, Kratos, come oh. on. Close, but also not dear. See? Tips are too wide. Mountain up. Your mother taught you well. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm really curious about what happened there. I mean, we just started and I'm... Oh, there's an... Oh, I never saw that before. There's an Omega symbol on the Leviathan axe there on the at the top. That is... That's interesting. Okay. Let's keep going. Um... I'm starting to see that there's a bit of exploration and resource gathering going on as well. So I'm, I'm usually I cut those things out to keep everything smooth. Like, okay, there's a giant chest in here. Okay then. Well, that's a change from the past. So in the past you needed to, well, bash a button to uh, open up a chest. This was just uh, him destroying it completely with one punch. Lost and found. Lost toys found. Oh. To Joe Journal. We found this little toy near the house. I used to have one like it. I think it may be part of a set. If we can find more, that may be worth something. Okay. Could give it to your son, Kratos, but never mind. Never mind. Is it something? No, never mind. Let's, let's just keep more going. More tracks? Yeah. But they're too round. Could be a wild boar. Good. Oh man, I love the heavy voice. Now what? Okay. Circle for jumping. That is different. This way, boy. You know what also strikes me as Wait, very interesting? Tracks. They're fresh. Okay, the tracks. There are no camera cuts. I think this has been one continuous camera shot for now. There's been no because usually God of War was with fixed used uh, fixed camera angles. Oh, that's. 
Uh, down, boy. That's not a normal deer. You are hunting deer, not chasing it. Yes, father. Why was the deer? Why had the deer glow? Why did? Oh my god! I can't talk anymore. Why did the deer have glowing antlers? That was weird. Good. And another chest. Let's punch that through the roof. Okay. More hacksaws or whatever that may be. Assuming we'll get the, an explanation about that any moment now. Oh, what's this? What's this? There's like a chain hanging down. Can't jump over it, so I'm assuming that means this might be explorable later on then. How are we gonna get across? Step aside. I could probably use that giant axe of mine. Oh yes, let's do this Captain America stuff. Wow. Go. Uh. Ooh. Oh, what happened here? Okay, that was awesome. Do I? Can I go? No. Okay. Okay. I might. I might. Let's go, Kratos. There we go. Okay. So. There it is. Hold. I think it has seen you. What are you doing? Now its guard is up. Only fire. Calm down, Kratos. Only fire. When I tell you to fire. There's, there's, there's still a bit of rage sorry. left in him. Do not be sorry. Be better. Okay. Find it. Harsh parenting, but... <laughs> Find it. Ooh, that is definitely not a good relationship. Okay, seems that... Why... Does, does nobody care about why the place is on fire, by the way? I mean, I know there was a deer around here, but even the deer didn't seem to care about the... Okay, I'm going on my... my bow. No! You are not ready! Stay back! Oh, wow, it's frozen! How can I dodge? How can I dodge? Okay, that's dodging. Okay. Ooh, yes! Can I... Can I... Holy shit! Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, dodging works pretty well. Can I? Oh yeah, I can just punch him. Oh wait, I have a shield. Oh wow, okay, I'm all, almost dead already. How can I heal? I feel like there's something behind me. Oh, that was in the face. Give me that back. And up, and up. And, uh... Axe in the face, and got that back. Is he dead? Okay, okay, hold the block. Fine, okay, that's the same button then. Hold on. Okay, I, I think I blocked at the exact right time too. Oh, there's another one. Oh, yeah, I think I died. Great. Well, that's the first fight. They don't stun at all, okay. How do I heal? Okay, there we go. Okay, 
Okay, so there's three again. Okay, it's a bit of a dance. Oh, fuck, yeah, okay. Should stop talking about the dance. Come on, 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 come on. Okay, and now, about the health situation, how the hell do I fix that? So yeah, give me a challenge, it's really giving me a challenge, because that was the first fight and Try I need to, needed to retry that They've twice. They've never come this close to our woods before. Keep moving. Draugr, okay, kind of like the, the standard term for Norse mythology and death. Health stones. Fair enough, seems to be on top of a corpse right here. Okay, I can put that away right here, there we go. What is this? A big chest. C-R-N. Should we be in here? Well, there's a C. Okay. R N. That's N. I probably need to do those in order. And ah. there we go. That looks like a big chest. You're only gonna take that. Okay. An apple. I an apple. You've collected one of three. You needed to increase your maximum health. Okay, that sounds very handy. Find the nine total apples in the world in chests locked by magic. Every tree you collect will increase your maximum health. But there's only nine in the world. Fine. Seems like we found the first one pretty quickly then. So back in that center area. We still have two ways to go. Should I go left first or ahead first? Atris is going towards the building. Which looks like a really weird building, by the way. Ugh. Looks like something punched it. Let's go this way then. Up there. Okay, there's the deer. Can I use my axe to do something? No, I'm not the just gonna. The mom told me never to go in there. Just gonna leave it we like do that. Do what we please, boy. No excuses. Okay. Julia, way to teach your son about that. I do love how this game does not waste any time with animations like that. Just open the door. Can I have my bow back now? Can you hit it from here? Uh, probably not. We should get closer. <laughs> it looks like Atreus has a few scars of his own as well. Okay, there we go. I went hunting with Mother a bunch of times. He never wanted to take me. Why now? It was her wish. And it was time. Okay. Well, he was really pleased with that answer, because that answer did not give him any information. That sounds like more Draugr. Draugr! During combat, an enemy's health bar is displayed above them when they take damage or when targeted by Kratos. Okay. That's weakening them a bit by just throwing this thing around. And there we go. Oh, 
There we go, that's one. Oh, I'll that. oh wow, that was perfectly timed. These guys did not fuck around. Oh wow, I just dodged at that time. Okay, walking. Yeah. <laughs> Oh wow. Jesus Christ. Oh, there's new ones. Come on, come on, come on. In the nuts. Ah. Well, <clears throat> help, help, okay. Yeah, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. I think I got the flow down a bit. Okay, There's another one going down, and why is he, why is his health so low? And there we go. Okay, this game is not messing around, so taking challenging got me to just being able to take four hits before dying. Or even three hits before dying, because the fourth hit kills me. That looks like a fancy chest. Okay, so I have a chain. Okay. Can I? That's glowing. You froze it in place. Clever. Okay, so now I can open this chest up, I suppose. It looks different than the other chest. He can no longer use it. We can. Just hack silver, so that's fine. Okay, so now I can go inside. So... Pull back the axe. There we go. Okay. Fair enough. Another chest on the left. Where are you going? Well... I think he's this way. Well, there's a, a giant chest on the left here, Atreus, so let me check that out. There we go, thank you very much. And then we have a chain here. Ah, so this allows me to get back to the other side, although there's a bit more here, it seems. Can I do something with this pot? So I think if I... Yeah, that blows that up and it destroys the rock. But how do I get one? Okay. More loot. Can't seem to get my axe through there, so that's not gonna help me in any way. Do get another health stone here. I don't really need it at the moment. There is a lot to explore, actually. I'm really, really enjoying this already. Boy, this looks like. Over wow. Here. Okay. It's Skull and Hati, the giant wolves who chase the sun and moon. Where did they come from? How did they get up there? What's happening there at the end? They eat the sun and moon? And then everybody fights? More than myth, new labor hold to show journal. Every shrine tells the story of a giant of legend. Giants left behind shrines that tell stories from their history. I loved those stories when mom told them. Let's see how many we can find. So the journal is written by Atreus because we've seen him do that. Which is important when we read those things because otherwise... Oh, wait, new shrine entry. 
Wolf giants, Skull chases the sun and Hati the moon. What happens when they catch their prey? Looks like a massive fight. Odin Thor the world serpent. Could it be? Doesn't say much. Just gonna put the, the axe away for a second. I must say, why is At Atreus is a Latin name? So it's not even Greek. So why did they name him Atreus? Because Kratos is Greek. It's actually a little Greek for strength. So uh, we have that going for us. That's a fitting name. Must be the magic deer. Relax. Do not think of it as an animal. It is simply a target. Clear your mind. Steady your aim and breathe in. Usually go for the heart and that was where the heart was. Oh, look at him. He was really happy when that succeeded. Okay. So. It's still alive. A deer. Still a magic deer. I mean, it's glowing blue. Or is this normal for the animals in here? Your knife. No. Yeah, he needs to do Finish it. Finish what you started. Take it by the hilt, boy. A bit higher up. I must say the deer is surprisingly I calm. Can't. I mean, come on, just push. Ooh. Well, it's a pretty slow death. You okay, Atreus? Doesn't seem like Kratos cares much. Oh wow. Oh that was That told us so much and just no words at all. Oh what the f oh. Okay, that's quickly to head into a boss battle. What the fuck? We have no choice. Um, he's carrying a pillar. Press square to command that to his shoot arrows, hold L2 and press square to target a specific enemy. Enemies will be distracted from attacking Kratos when they are hit by an arrow. Okay, number of arrows. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. This is um shoulder. It does damage him, but that's a oh Jesus Christ! Come on, hit him. He doesn't seem distracted by the arrows. <laughs> the pulse's health bar is indicated at the bottom of the screen. No shit, Sherlock. Jesus. Okay, I can pretty much estimate his distance usually. Oh, come on, he didn't hit me there. Uh, nope. Okay, so it's pretty pretty straightforward for now. Yep. Uh, left. Uh, smack, smack, smack. Come on. And up. Uh, left. Oh wow, that was a second hit. Never mind. Hit, and there we go. Let's finish him off. And there we go. 
finishing moves in the face. Come on, do something fancy. We know you can. Okay. That was a little unsatisfactory. Boy. Jesus, take it easy, buddy. You're nothing to me! Boy, nothing. look at me! Look at me, boy! Boy, look at me. Well, he kinda got that from his dad. Wow. You are not ready. Ready for the journey he was talking about, I suppose. Are you serious? I found the deer. I've proved myself. How am I not ready? We are going home. Because of your reaction just now, probably. I haven't been sick in a long time. I can do this. Sick? You are not ready. Okay. There goes the troll. I totally missed the name of the troll, by the way, because I think it was on top of the health bar. But... Do not speak again. Do not speak again. Okay, so that was a bit of... Ooh, that was a lot of hack silver. Trolls toll. New kill labor. They're talking about labors. That's a bit weird. There we go. Just gonna... Gonna make this first episode a bit of a longer one. Um, path home is this way. So we're gonna finish this up, I suppose, pretty quickly then. Do I open it up by hitting it? No, just... yeah. Just just by climbing, sorry, sorry. Don't want to hit everything in the face with my giant axe. Yeah, I think we've had enough health potions for now, I don't think. I can use it, but not gonna help me, help me any way. It was interesting that the boss did less damage usually than... okay. Stunning enemies. An enemy stun bar is located below their health bar. Attacking an enemy in quick succession inflicts stun damage, causing the bar to fill. Once the bar is filled, the enemy is stunned. Press R3 to grab a stunned enemy. Arrows and barehanded attacks inflict extra stun. Critics can switch barehanded attacks by throwing the axe or shooting the axe, okay? So you want me to just punch the... Punch. Okay. Shoot. And grab. Holy shit. Okay. And stun. And there go both of you. Okay. Okay, starting to get the hang of this. Of the Draugrs anyway, if they're gonna add more enemies, I'm gonna be screwed. For the first few fights, so a bit more hack silver. that's pretty much it. Can't I open up the fancy door? What's this? Hello? Still can't get the doors open, huh? Quiet. Okay. So they know about these doors, but can't seem to open them. Clear. So we need to get back to these. Fair enough. Let's get back up. Okay. Enemy local. Oh, okay. I don't I don't think I need that. I like the way the camera works. Should probably get the axe out. And pull it out in both directions. Oh god, give me my axe back. And up and smack them around a bit. And tear them in half. Turn around. Uh, 
and up, up, and away. What am I Sounds like there's one more, okay. Good question. I can't throw my axe against it. Okay, and let's pull that thing away and start hitting him with my bare hands. Buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, let's grab this thing. Oh, wow. That was gruesome. Okay, then. And I told you not to speak. So, Frost people who are really resistant to the axe is pretty much my third enemy type, which is interesting. Let's smack that down, get the axe back, and drop down. Okay, that was cool. That was really, really cool. Return to the house. Okay, we're back. We took the long way around the first time then. That was. Burn Mother's garden, and since winter drawn her so close to the house, and what was that frozen thing that attacked us? I do not know. Now be silent. We are almost home. We are almost home. I love the new voice. I've told, I've, I've said that already. I know, but I love the new voice. Let's uh, let's head in here. Inside, boy. Oh yeah, he's really not pleased with life at the moment. What is Kratos going to do? Oh yeah, probably his wife is completely gone at the moment. Let's have a moment of silence for Kratos' wife. I'm assuming the the voyage to the the mountain they're talking about is to scatter her ashes somehow. That's a thing that people do, right? Thank you for letting us in, Kratos. So I think this might be a good place to end this first episode. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm really, I'm really enjoying the first, uh, the first few steps into this game, uh, even though it's incredibly hard on this difficulty. Uh, but I'm starting to get the hang of the combat. It's, uh, it's starting to click a bit more. So I'm hoping that will improve in the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. Um, and thank you guys enormously for watching. And I'll see you guys next time, because this is going to be my next uh, longer-running series. So thanks again, enormously, for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time on God of War.